Now, among those leading the efforts to help coordinate relief efforts here in Minnesota is State Senator Melissa Franzen of Edina. She was born and raised in Puerto Rico before moving here to attend the University of Minnesota. She married a Minnesotan and is raising a young family. Her personal Facebook page lists multiple ways to help and also has a response to President Trump on those critical tweets of San Juan's mayor. And Senator Melissa Franzen is joining us now. Senator, thank you so much. Thank you for All having right. me. Uh, your thoughts on President Trump's tweets, specifically those criticizing San Juan's mayor? Well, Esme, I don't think it's a time to be pointing fingers. I think it's a time for us to all take action. We do need the federal government's help, so I don't think the tweets are helpful, but certainly to the extent that we can create awareness of the dire situation in Puerto Rico, I think that's helpful, and we need more uh, support from the federal government so we can't uh, be fighting amongst each other. We have to be uh, reuniting resources and, and deploying them efficiently to Puerto, Puerto Rico now. All right. Uh, we do have video from a David Begno CBS News correspondent story that actually has video from you, one of the hometowns you grew up in, uh, Aguadilla. I'm not sure. Aguadilla. Uh, okay. Well and, and obviously you can see the devastation there. What is that like for you to see this? Well, it's terrible because um, I don't consider my hometown a rural town. It's actually on the northwest coast with the largest runway in the entire island. Uh, the mayor is very active, so when I see him in desperate calls for action and for supplies and when there's lines that uh, upwards of 2,000 people just to get cash from an ATM, not to say people without food and water. It's really um, a frustrating and really sad uh, news story for me personally. Right. Tell us the story of what you've had to go through, your family has to go through, to try and help your 94-year-old grandmother. Your parents are also still there in Puerto Rico. So we have my, a picture of her. My grandmother is in San Sebastian, which is the town that has the dam um, that's about to actually collapse. And uh, she needs oxygen. She needs uh, electricity to run her oxygen. They've had trouble getting oxygen for her. They've had trouble getting gas to fill the generator to get that um, moving as well. So um, my parents have had to help in any way possible uh, an hour away from them, and I actually had a contact in Florida that was able to help me ship. Uh, and there she is. And right air, there. Uh, there she is um, to ship some uh, air uh, oxygen uh, machine to get to her, and hopefully that it will get to her on time, and that we're going to be able to t keep her alive. Okay, I know you have been going 24/7. Uh, you uh, just following your Facebook page. I know that the governor, Governor Dayton, called you this morning. What did he have to say? Well, the governor is very sympathetic and is trying to mobilize what we can do as a state here in Minnesota to support uh, not only uh, U.S. citizens in Puerto Rico, but also there's a big a corporate presence in Puerto Rico. As you may know, there's Best Buy, New, uh, St. Jude, Medtronic, Boston Scientific. All these companies have uh, operations in Puerto Rico and employees in Puerto Rico. Some of them, like Best Buy, had not heard from at least 40 of their employees just as, as far as Friday. So uh, we are there to help in any way possible. There is Minnesota Connections. There's about 13,000 Minnesotans who are of Puerto Rican descent. And more than that, we're Minnesotans who are there to help each other and help our neighbors. So we're mobilizing. And, and folks, well, you have sent us a number of links. If you want to help, those links are at WCCO.com, linking to the links that you sent us. Um, what can people, individuals do? Because you're going from here to a meeting where you're going to meet with the leaders to talk about additional efforts. But what can individuals do? Individuals are, are now um, stepping up with supplies and donations. We have several uh, collection points that are, are available in your website, which I appreciate. Um, we're also uh, sending monetary so, uh, support through the St. Paul Foundation has established a fund uh, that you can also find on givemn.org. And so those are ways that people can contribute. Also to raise awareness of this issue at the federal level. We're having a press conference tomorrow at the national level as well, uh, where leaders across the state, across the, the country are, are coming together to say we need more of an immediate action and response. In Haiti, we had 20, uh, 22,000 troops two weeks later. In, Minnesota, in Puerto Rico right now, we only have 10,000 military troops helping the effort. So we need more attention, more awareness, and more deployment um, as soon as possible. All right. And again, um, the point being that these are U.S. citizens, which I think many people didn't quite understand, do you think? I, I do. Uh, there was a lack of awareness of that. But since 1917, Puerto Ricans have served in every war since World, World, World War I. Um, certainly, um, they're in every corner of our country. And and um, we are our neighbors and friends and family, and, and we, what, we're just asking for a neighborly help. All right. We've got those links again to help. Thank you so much. Uh, those are on our website. Thank, Thank you, you, Senator Franson. Appreciate it.